because you can create some really neat, really neat brushes, maybe uh, brushes, maybe merging flowers, so to speak. Maybe you can start to get veiny style brushes. Who knows? It's up to you. Up the spacing, perhaps. It's fun to see what you can get, but um, let's uncheck that. The best thing I am going to say in Photoshop is to always experiment, guys. Always come in here and experiment, and you will definitely get a hold of things pretty quick. Some people, at least. Some of you. Maybe the others are not so, uh, not so much, so to speak. Anyway, but that's okay. This is what those tutorials are for. Those people. Because I was one of those people. And um, people would always pick on me because I was a slow learner. I just want to let you guys know you can do whatever you want, whatever you put your mind to. You can do it. Anyway, here's our color dynamics. Same thing for the color here. We can actually go back and forth between two colors. So I'll select a blue here and I'll select a green. And Photoshop for us will actually adjust the colors based upon other various things which is very nice. You can see here they actually randomly go back and forth. The jitter, as I said, is just a slider for randomness. It affects the randomness. But um, you can combine that maybe with the dual brush up here and get some very cool little effects going on. Fortunately, those are not too amazing of colors, but um, you know, you can maybe get two similar blues going back and forth, combine it with the dual brush and you can actually adjust the hue jitter not to jitter so much and it just goes between those two colors uh, your saturation bring it down a little desaturated or more saturated drag it up to 100 percent and uh... yeah so that's it color dynamics as i said these are pretty self-explanatory your opacity is very important pen users this is the one this is the one i was discussing earlier you can set this to pen pressure and how hard you push down will be affected. So, um, you know, if you want to push down and go over something in terms of opacity, you want to paint over it, um, this is definitely where you want to be. This is the value of the Wacom tablet within Photoshop, I promise you. So, for those of you who have a Wacom tablet, this is the first tab you want to experiment under, I promise. So, but we don't in this tutorial, so we're going to set that to off. Same thing for the flow jitter. A lot like the hardness, but um, there you have it, guys. This has been a tutorial on brushes within Adobe Photoshop. And, uh, I mean, that's all I really got for this one. Take it easy, guys.